Tales from the Greyside presents... 30 Nights of Halloween. Let's make it 31 nights of Halloween instead, if your heart can stand it. My daughter, the witch. Destroy her before she brings her evil upon us all. No, please. I have harmed no one. That chick's really up the creek without a paddle. You wonder how she'll get out of it. First, maybe. You better find out how she got into it. So let's go back to the morning before. Tomorrow is the wedding, father. This is your last chance to give Prudence and me your blessing. Never! I do not doubt the good God-fearing woman, but I did not raise my son to marry a pauper. Isn't it enough that I love her, father? Don't make me laugh. Tis your inheritance, my hard-earned money, that she's after, not your love. Come, Prudence, we're wasting our time here. Oh, Miles, darling. I never dreamed I'd make enemies of you and your father. If you wish to change your mind about marrying me, I'll... I'll understand. How sweet of you to say that, my love, but nothing will ever separate us. Nothing? If only that cocky cat could see what's going on now, back in the family pad. I'd hoped it wouldn't come to this. Before Miles brings her home, I must slip these objects into their proper places. It's my only hope. That night, the local yokels are treated to a strange sight. I tell you, whatever is causing me this terrible head pain emanates from here. Prudence's house? You can't be serious, father. Can't I? Then what do you call this? <gasps> a witch's circle. Around the initials of your name, Samuel. Miles! What? What's wrong? Couldn't wait to try on your wedding gown, huh? We'll soon see what's wrong, you scheming wench. Ha! Just as I suspected, the cause of my head pain. But I don't know how that got there. You do believe me, don't you, Miles? I want to believe you, Prudence. And yet... We have all seen the evidence, have we not? Aye, clearly Prudence is a witch. And she must die by stoning. You all know what happened next, but you'd never guess whose consciousness is suddenly bothering him. Oh my God, I never thought it would come to this. Father, what are you saying? Stop, it was all a hoax. That poor child is no more a witch than you or I. It was I who put the coins and the doll there. I only did it to discourage my son from marrying her. I never wanted her killed. Bah, you're a foolish old man, Samuel. That's right, foolish. Take her, Miles. Never again will I stand in your way. I never want to see his evil face again. Don't say that, Miles. He's still your father and he loves you. He's just ashamed now. Let me talk to him. Father Samuel, wait. How can you call me father after what I did to you? It's easy, because you really did me a favor. Now I can be sure you'll never reveal my true secret. Oh, no, you, you really are a witch. Exactly, Father Samuel. But who'd ever believe you now? Is everything all right now, Prudence? Yes, dearest. Your father and I understand each other perfectly. <laughs> I'm sure glad they did, because that Prudence chick turned out to be my great-great-grandmother.